Hey there! Today I am bringing you a new type of video. I'm really excited for this. I have been kind of obsessing about some keto foods lately and I figured I would bring it to you guys in a special video where I am just going over my keto favorite items right now. So I'm gonna call it Keto Faves and um, if you guys like this type of video I will reoccur this I think maybe every month. Um, but I just thought it would be a fun idea to uh, kind of bring this to you guys. Okay, so the first thing is this new sauce that I tried out and I'm absolutely loving it. It is Sir Kensington Buffalo Ranch. This, I think, has a little bit of an off taste if you have it as a salad dressing, but if you have it mixed with um, something else that has flavor like for a dipping sauce or um, on top of tacos, it's really good. Um, my boyfriend even likes this and he doesn't like spicy food, so it's not all that spicy, but uh, the flavor on this is really, really nice. I like to kind of layer this on tacos with like, I'll put sour cream and then also put this just to give it a little bit of a different flavor. So I'm really liking this um, as like a dipping sauce or a topping on sauce, not a salad dressing. The next thing that I am absolutely loving right now is making spinach dip. I use one of these packs of Knorr vegetable um, seasoning packs. It has 24 carbs in the whole thing, so you could definitely only use half of this and be just fine. I think it would uh, give you the same amount of flavor, but um, it also does have quite a bit of vegetables in here that I take out. So it has um, carrots, onions, leeks, green beans, um, and I sift that stuff out so it's just the powder. So I'm not sure how much that really affects the carbs, but when I do have the, the end product of the spinach dip, I'm not having, I'm not having half of um, the batch that I make. It's a very small amount, so um, still something to definitely keep in mind. I'm not... I rarely use this uh, lately for like dipping chips into or something. Um, what I've been doing actually with a spinach dip is I've been putting it on top of a salad. Um, it's actually been adding a really nice creamy texture to the salad and it's been kind of adding that fat in that I'm looking for and it makes it a lot more satiating. And then also the spinach is in there which goes really well with salad because it's a vegetable too. So. I've actually been topping it on top of salads and it's been amazing. The next keto fave currently is um, something that I've been liking for a while now, which is Clear American. I've been really liking this peach Clear American. There's also a strawberry Clear American that I've really been enjoying. Um, I don't like sparkling water. I feel like it tastes, I don't know, weird. Um, but this one is actually flavored and sweetened. I think the um, sweetened aspect is kind of what makes me like this one a bit more. I don't know which one's the sweet, sweetened ingredient, but uh, it has carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavors, potassium, uh, aspartame, maybe that's the sweetener, and potassium uh, benzo benzoate. Um, and acylflame potassium. So I've been really liking these. I can't drink many other uh, sparkling sodas or sparkling waters, but the Clear American sweetened ones I can, and I have been loving it. It's kind of nice to fit in between meals because um, it cut, makes you not really want anything else. Also, after dinner or after lunch even, I tend to crave something sweet, and one of the Clear American drinks is a really nice thing to have as a replacement of having like a dessert because it does give you a sweet flavor and then also kind of makes you feel fuller um, because you're drinking a liquid. So I really like it just for appetite control. The next thing um, that I am absolutely loving on keto right now is Trident sugar-free cinnamon gum. Um, I've never been a big gum fan but uh recently i was thinking of how i really missed eating hot tamales which is just like a candy kind of like mike and ike's but cinnamon flavored and they don't really make a whole lot of cinnamon keto items but this is sugar free and it is cinnamon i also realized that um last week i think it was i was having the urge to just kind of crunch on something or just like be chewing something i wasn't hungry at all but i just wanted to be 
chewing something. It was a weird feeling, but um, that's when I started chewing gum and I was like, oh my God, this gets rid of that feeling entirely. So I have started chewing more gum in between meals because it does kind of trick your brain into thinking that you're eating and um, gets rid of that kind of feeling of wanting to eat when you're really not hungry. So the macros on this is for one stick, it's less than five um, calories, zero grams of fat, uh, one total carb and one sugar alcohol. So it's zero net carb and zero grams of protein. I got these on Amazon. I think they ended up being a buck each pack. Something else that I have been completely obsessed with is um, I've been making cream cheese rangoons with uh, mozzarella cheese as kind of the noodle and I've been filling it with green onion and cream cheese and it has been amazing. I've been doing this thing where I've been having more fat um, instead of more protein and it's been making my appetite stay really in check and it's actually been really great for my energy, for how I feel, and the cream cheese rangoons really, really help with that, but they actually taste so good. I only end up having probably two at a time because um, they are just really satiating, and since they're full of fat, I don't really need anything else. So something else that I have been making and loving is the Keto Connect uh, Shrimp Scampi recipe. They posted a while ago, um, but I made that, um, and it's really easy. It's just basically butter. I add some garlic um, and garlic salt, Parmesan cheese and the shrimp and then you put it on the stove for a bit, let it heat up and then you put it in the oven and it actually is really good, really easy um, and it's just, it's delicious. So I've been really liking that lately and um, it's been working out really well for my weight loss too. And the last thing on my keto faves right now is Max Mallows. It's taken me a really long time to actually try these Max Mallows just because I know how to make keto marshmallows and I didn't think I needed a uh, company to make them for me. But the difference with these versus the ones I make with just gelatin and water is these you can actually melt and make Rice Krispie treats out of. So I have been using the Max Mallows with the Magic Spoon Frosted Cereal and it's been amazing. My my brother likes it, my boyfriend likes it. It's been a great dessert to have. I'm not sure how it's affecting my weight loss yet. I haven't really tested it out enough, but it is something that everyone in my household has become obsessed with really quickly, whether they're doing keto or not. So this and then the other thing would be the Magic Spoon Frosted Cereal. My boyfriend really likes the fruit, um, the Fruit Loop kind of, Magic Spoon cereal, but um, I prefer the Frosted to me. And actually my brother had said this, um, he said it tastes like Rice Krispie treats. Not Rice Krispies, but Rice Krispie treats because they're basically like marshmallow glazed, it seems. So with that cereal and these marshmallows, you have such a perfect keto treat that doesn't even taste like it's keto. I find uh, this at Nutrition, I actually, don't know if it's a better deal on Nutrition or anywhere else, but that's where I get it from um, since I get other things from Nutrition as well. Okay guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Please let me know what you thought about this type of video. Uh, your feedback's really important to me. Um, if you didn't give this video a thumbs up yet, please do so and also, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. It really does help my channel. Um, I'd like to be able to reach as many people as possible because I want to share my story with people out there so that they know that um, there are different ways to do keto and their way of doing keto may be just fine. So if you guys could help me in doing that, I'd really, really appreciate it. But that is all I have for you in this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.